defenses are playing you guys any differently the past few games? Not, not terribly differently. You know, I, I do think they're towards the latter part of, um, you know, you look at the latter part of the, the Kansas game, and I think there's a little bit more pressure than maybe what they typically had done. Um, you look at the latter part of the Houston game and, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more where they're loading the box and how much was it, you know, what the weather was like, how much was it um, some, of, uh, um, some of our challenges that we had getting the ball to the perimeter in that particular game. Those are all things that you analyze. Is there anything in particular in regards to dealing with pressure and loaded boxes that you feel like you guys need to do better? Ahead yeah, I do. Um, one thing is we need to stay on blocks much better. You know, when you look at that and, and credit our last opponent, um, and, and quite honestly, our last two opponents, is um, I think that they were both very good up front. We knew going into it they were going to be very good up front. And we need to do a better job of executing and we need to do a better job of being more physical at the point of contact. You know, it's it's kind of one of those things where we're getting a double hat on a guy and we just didn't get that much movement. And that's something that that certainly we've emphasized and we've worked and we need to be much better at. Like so they, they play four down, mm -hmm. two safeties and a nickel kind of lead the team and, and tackles. What do they do especially well there? Well, when you look at their nickel and their safety, um, who I believe are their top two leading tacklers. Uh, both of them are very aggressive. Both of them are very physical. They're very active. Um, I think they're extremely well coached. I've, you know, coached against this defensive coordinator. He was at University of Nevada um, in 2021. Prior to that, um, you know, he was, uh, he was at Western Illinois when I was at North Dakota State. And I just think he does a phenomenal job. I know the linebackers coach personally, and he's a great coach as well. So I think they're very well coached, and I think they play very fast and play very aggressive. Coach, some of your offensive linemen seem to take that last game pretty hard. How do you think they've responded over the past I think days? they've responded very well. I've been very pleased with how they've responded, and they should, you know, and, and as have all of us. You know, you look at um, how that game um, unfolded throughout it and when we are called upon as an offensive line uh, to run the football uh, we weren't nearly as efficient as we needed to be at that particular time. In the past few weeks or, or even the month have you discovered anyone that you're able to bring up and practice with the regulars on a regular basis? Yeah you know you see that especially coming out of a bye week you know you're starting to see guys who are really developing more and more um, you know, this, this past week and for the past few weeks, and I can speak, you know, to, to myself, uh, I'll start kind of there. Um, you know, uh, Gus Hawkins is doing a really, really good job. Um, Navarro Shunky, both guys who have taken some of those reps. We did some developmental stuff last week where I really thought those guys um, did some fantastic things. And, and you know, Trace Bivey's going to have more of an opportunity to just see him continuing to play with more and more confidence. Um, and his knowledge of the offense is continuing to get better. And, uh, no, very, very pleased with him. I think Joe Jackson, is his role is continuing to improve as well. In terms of the wide receivers, mm -hmm. uh, what do they need to do to become a little bit more consistent? You, you know, I think it's, it's to say, okay, maybe it's the wide receivers. I think collectively as an offense, and it falls, guys, it falls directly any time that you don't have success. The first place you need to look is right at yourself and you know is it the wide receivers is it you know the offensive line is it um, you know maybe maybe a running back missing one maybe going the wrong way is it an interception whatever the case might be and it comes down to us executing and being more physical and that starts obviously up front and it works its way out into the perimeter Avery's rush attempts numbers have been all over the place the last couple of weeks. Is that just has that totally been dictated on matchups, or is it something else? Yeah, a little bit of it is what is the defense giving us. Um, you know, when you start getting into some of the read game, and you know, I thought that they had a pretty good plan last week, whereas opposed to two weeks ago. So some of it is dictated on that. Any time that you have a quarterback and you say, okay. 
do we every single week have dedicated what you'd call dedicated quarterback run? Absolutely, you do. Um, and I still contend you need to be very measured when you're using those tools. Um, and then you have a little bit more of the read game. And on some of the read game, you can see um, where he's, he's very effective. And then you can see where some teams have, have done a good job of taking some of that away.